Facebook's mission is all about giving people a voice and bringing people closer together. Those are democratic values and we're proud of them. Big internet companies are silencing conservatives and it's easy to see why. Tech leaders didn't like it when Trump won in 2016 and now they're doing their best to pave the way for Democrats to take back the White House in 2020. For instance, Twitter refused to let Republican Marsha Blackburn run ads promoting her Senate campaign announcement video in 2017. Facebook later rejected another of her ads less than a week before the 2018 election. Many other voices have been banned or stifled since Trump's election, including Dennis Prager, Jesse Kelly, Gavin McInnes, Lila Rose, Tommy Robinson, and Laura Loomer, all of whom are right-leaning. But the big question is, how will you react? Will you ignore the voices that are silenced? Learn to love the sources left standing, the ones approved by leftist gatekeepers? Well, here's another option. Take charge of what media you consume. Sign up for Catholic Votes The Loop, one of the few remaining ways of exchanging ideas without supervision. You'll get more CVTV videos like this one, regular updates on the events of the week, with no politically correct filter and no over-the-top punditry either. Just straight news about American politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Don't miss out on the truth. Stay in the loop. Subscribe to CVTV. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.